How did you get into music and, and how did you end up hooking up with Flip? I met uh, the Flip guys through Alex Mole. I went out to live with Molly when I first got my first American work piece as a DJ. That was in about 2003, and that's when they were making Really Sorry. But they needed some editing stuff done on one of the tracks and stuff. I met Jeff and Tom and Mark. And strangely, I'd never met Tom. We we're both from Oxford. When did they actually decide that um, they were going to build something from scratch? Well, I went out for a meeting with Jeff and Jeremy and Ewan in January 2005. So yeah, I went out for a meeting, I made like a little pilot track. It kind of spiraled from there and then toured with the team for a year, stopped to get to know everyone and built relationships with everyone on the team. And There's a lot of different artists mm -hmm. on this soundtrack. Yeah. Tell us exactly who's collaborated for the soundtrack. Um, Lemmy Kilmister from Motorhead, Dave Lombardo from Slayer, um, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, Stephen McBean from Black Mountain, Mike Conti from Early Man, a band called Sounder, and a guy called Mac Winston from like a really small band, but this guy's got an amazing voice. Did everyone draw up a hit list for this? Did you draw a hit list like we do it to the team? I mean, basically everyone knew kind of what they wanted song-wise, and um, Jeff, Jeff always liked something perhaps slower and more attached to his roots. You know, Apple Yard's old beard is just super laid back, and David's obviously metal. There's yeah. no question that no David, question, no. <laughs> David was going to have anything for metal, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we just kind of pieced it together through that. But a lot of the times it just came from discussions where I'd say, oh yeah, I'd love to get Black Mountain. Jeff would be like, oh right, I know then. Everyone who was on there was the first choice for that, for those songs, so it's amazing to kind of nail that. So where, where was the location for the studio? Flip Warehouse right. in California, so that's just... That's, that's a bit handy. Yeah, no, that's yeah, <laughs> definitely handy. So, so you actually built a studio in the Flip Warehouse for this? Yeah, so yeah, it's great. It was uh, my studio's there, the editing room's there, the product room's there, art department, the mini ramp. All the guitars got recorded there, um, all the mixing was done there, and all the editing was done there. We recorded Dave's drums at a studio near Vulcan. We recorded Lemmy at Sunset Sounds in Hollywood, and we recorded Jim Lindbergh at his own, his own place. And I mean, Steve McBean's got a good studio set up himself, so he sent us the vocals mm -hmm. himself, so that was easy. So you managed to work with Dave Lombardo from Slayer, how was that? Dave's the most down to earth, coolest, coolest dude. He's just like, I'm here to take direction from you, so just, you know, he's been producing records for 20 years, yeah. so, and worked with, you know, Rick Rubin. Oh, it doesn't get bigger Yeah, than but yeah, it worked really well. He was completely on point, no editing needed. Just bump, mix it, that was it. He did Jeff's song whilst Lemmy sung it. Yes. And he, <laughs> he played Stand By Me. Yes. So he didn't even get to play a thrash song. Yeah, it was cool that they both kind of were up for going down about 100 BPM in speed because it's quite quite a lot slower. Dave definitely had the skills and Lemmy, Lemmy had the skills. It was really, really good. And working with Lemmy, that must have been a pleasure. Yeah, he's a total gent though, Lemmy, really cool guy. We did a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago, that was, that was good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. We got pretty loose. You got loose. Yeah, around midday. Loose. Yeah, around midday. Three, yeah, getting loose in LA in midday. Yeah, it was good. So what went down? Just you know what you can imagine, just drinking, <laughs> yeah. drinking, <laughs> drinking, and drinking, drinking, and drinking. Yeah. So he left you and Jeff under the table then. It didn't get that far because he had to go. He had to get a plane at about four o'clock. So what about Jim Lindbergh? Pennywise, yeah. he was a vocalist for Pennywise yeah. and he's just quit the band, right? Yeah, I believe he just left, yeah. I didn't really get into him about the Pennywise situation because I didn't want to be, you know, disrespectful or anything, but he was. we sent him the track and I was kind of apprehensive because it was electronic, but he was totally stoked, totally into the idea and awesome. you know, did a really good job on it as well. But the track that he plays on is almost, uh, it's, it's very kind of prodigy, beat yeah. driven, kind of... Uh, yeah, it's, it's very digital, so yeah. I mean, that must have been a real change for him. Has he done anything like that before? Is that just the one off? I think that's the first time he's done it. He did a fucking good job. Yeah, no, it was pretty impressive, but you know, he's a pro. Jim's amazing. If this took around about four or five years to put together, how much of it was a rush right at the end of it? It's always a rush, yeah. because the filming deadline is always what it is, and everyone's always goes over, and it's just the way skate videos are. Everyone's filming to the last day. Who was the last in? Bob. Well, let's talk about his section. Yeah, amazing. Fuck. Every single trick, like last trick, hammer, every single one. How did that go down at the US premiere? You were at the LA one, right? There was a lot of screaming, and then just a lot of quiet, because everyone was just sat there with their gobs open, and then a lot more screaming towards the end. His is quite satisfying, because it all came together really last minute. The, the, the footage came together last minute, 
even though he had, you know, 15 minutes of it, pretty much. So the last minute rush then? Yeah, oh. yeah. But it, it turned out perfectly. No, it did. Yeah, it, turned it, turned out it really worked well. really well. So that must have been a, yeah, what a trip. I mean, uh, the whole thing must have been amazing. It was a massive, massive project. Massive project. It was pretty much every single day for four years. So people are going to be able to pick the soundtrack up, right? Yeah, 26th of October comes out of Fantastic. And there's a couple of free tracks on the web right now if people wanted to get those. Yeah, as well, the right? powerhouse thing which I made for David's mini rampart, and we're just about to put up the uh, the track I did with Black Mountain, which is on Bob's part as well. Wow. That's available for free download. So, what about what does the future hold for the Baron? More of the same, hopefully. Skate videos, computer game stuff. You're gonna stay here, or are you gonna? No, I'll be back. I'll keep going back to America in two weeks. That's home now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Living in the studio. For the time being. Studio ten. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could be anywhere, but I'm in LA. So. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's the. Uh, that's it.